Arsenal win the community shield and I know people are slating them online for celebrating but every game you play you want to win and this game yes the community shield is pointless yes the trophy is pointless but this game is not pointless because Arsenal going into the start of the season knowing that they've beaten Manchester City is going to give them a big level of confidence Arteta needs to win something this season he's had a lot of money spent Arteta has to win the trophy this season a lot of pressure is on for Arsenal to potentially win the league with their investment and everything and I think the fact that they've beaten City is going to give them the confidence and boost to do that I still think Arsenal are going to have a fantastic season and probably be at the top of the league most of the season but Man City always seem to start the season slowly and then Pep has this new plan and then no one can get near Man City but I tell you what no one could get near William Saliba or Duran Timber today those two players were incredible for Arsenal Erling Haaland more like Erling the ghost and you've got to give it to Arsenal and Arsenal scare me a little bit Declan Rice look good Rice last party look comfortable together uh, Havertz yeah I mean I've always been skeptical of Arsenal's only Havertz but the fact that he's getting those chances shows that Arsenal are creating and potentially that could be a weak spot but if Havertz gets his confidence back his shooting boots back you never know he could be particularly clinical, clinical in that spot maybe Arsenal need number nine Martinelli was a little bit rusty today but then Trossard came on and he was fantastic and while I was watching the Man United pre-season friendly as well as a big Man United fan I did have the Arsenal game on the side and yeah Julian Timber I mean Saliba and Julian Timber those two players and like you know me I've, I said that Julian Timber could be the signing of the summer I said Julian Timber could be the signing of the summer as a United fan because when Man United were linked to Julian Timber last year I watched a lot of him play for Ajax I know just how good that guy is that guy played left back Sinchenko's role, comfortable. As soon as Julian Timber go off, Arsenal concede. Julian Timber and Saliba, 22 years of age, arguably two of the best defenders in the league at 22 years of age. Do you not find that scary as, as, as if you're not an Arsenal fan that they've got two defenders that good? I find that scary as a Man United fan. I knew how good Julian Timber was and we know how good Saliba is. But 22, like they've got two defenders that good. And Julian Timber, you can play centre-back. He can play right back, he can play left back, he can play anywhere, he can even play midfield. They've got like the best first top young player ever. I said he would be the bargain of the, the summer, and I think he will prove it. He can play anywhere across the bat line. When Saliba got injured last year, Arsenal fell apart now. Nah, Julian Timber could just do Saliba's role first comes to us, go in at right centre back. This guy, he won't disappoint. I I said that I want United to get Julian Timber, and I knew United weren't going to get Julian Timber because when they got Martinez, they wanted someone that was a little bit different. Had United sold Maguire, their first choice was Kim and Jay, and maybe they would have made him for Julian Timber. So when he went to Arsenal, it did hurt. But he's he's an unbelievable player, and I knew he was. And like I want him to do well because he's a player I like, but then I don't want him to be that good for Arsenal as well. But I have to say, looking at Arsenal, I thought Odegaard was really impressive. I thought Party looked good in possession, although I do think him and Tierney were at fault for the goal. I thought Timber, yeah, the way he had Bernardo Silva at as well. Just And also, I said with Timber, he's so press resistant. City are one of the best pressing teams in the world. Timber, nah, doesn't trouble me at all. Um, you know, and Arsenal, you know, I think started a bit iffy, but Arsenal definitely grew into it. Arsenal definitely had the better chances. I think Fort Man City were going to come away with it. Trossard scores a goal in the last minute, but as a United fan, I probably did want Arsenal to win. I didn't want City to win, so it was nice to watch City lose. And, I, and Arsenal definitely deserved to come away, I think, with the win in the end, actually, when you look at it as well. Um, and Saliba, I mean, Saliba, you, I mean, we saw how good he was last season, but Haaland didn't get sniffed. Saliba is, is, is crazy good as well. And and Trossard coming on was the right call for Arteta. I do think Martinelli, I like Martinelli. I do think he's a good player, but he, he was not at it today as well. And I have to say, you know, Rice and Party looked good. I said, I said it um, the other day. I said, I think Arsenal, Odegaard, um, Haberts, Rice doesn't work. But I said, Rice, Party, Odegaard will work. And and that proved it today as well. Uh, ben White looked really, really good as well. Uh, ben, I think Ben White, you know, again, he could be in for another fantastic season. Ben White was good. Trossard was really exciting. Saliba was good. Timber was good. Um, yeah, I mean, Ben White, another top game. Saliba's just irreplaceable. Timber was just crazy. Um, but and I also think Odegaard was really good. Saka was good. Havertz, there's, there's potential there. Havertz is going to... Havertz is either going to get his confidence back, kick the ground running and be brilliant because I do think Arsenal are going to create a lot more chances so he's going to score a lot more goals than he did at Chelsea or Havertz is just not going to fit. Havertz, I'm not sure which way that signing is going to go. Um, for his sake, I hope it goes well, but then at the same time as a rival fan, I'm also like, hmm, don't want Arsenal winning the league, but then I don't want City winning the league and I don't think United are going to be up there challenging so Arsenal might be our only hope. But I have to say, Julian Timber again, people criticising for his height. As a Lissandro Martinez fan, I said, 
height does not matter. And Juri and Timber showed that again. But so far, the Timber could just play across the back four and was solid. And I think this win is important for Arsenal. Look, you know, I have Arsenal fans who were coming at me for United, uh, apparently celebrating winning the Carabao Cup too hard. And I do think where well, you've, you've won a community shield and you're acting like it's the Champions League, you know, and those Arsenal fans annoy me. But so, yeah, at the end of the day, like to get this win over City is massive for Arsenal because. You know, I know Liverpool beat City last year in the Community Shield and the City obviously won the treble and Liverpool didn't have the best season, but it will give Arsenal players that confidence going into the season, that belief that they could actually win it. And I think people don't realise mentality is such a massive side at the top level. To go up against City, you need that mentality. And it, I think that's what cost them depth and mentality at the end of the season. I think Arsenal actually arguably right now have better depth than Man City. Um, so, yeah, fair play to Arsenal. Don't like that you won, but I'm glad that City didn't win. That's my thoughts. Julian Timber is insane. Saliba is insane. Hopefully Man United win the league and it was good that at least Man United could beat Arsenal in pre-season. So I've got something positive to talk about. Smash the like, smash the subscribe. Back with more reaction and news. Uh, I think Chelsea about to sign Caicedo. I'm just waiting for some news on that. 